All right, we'll school, we'll school, man. Let's get into it. So, you guys know I have a wandering mind. You know, my mind makes me think uh, about certain stuff, especially about sports. But I want to talk about this, right? And I want to come on here and expose the NFL on something, right? So, as you guys know, if you haven't been living under a rock, uh, the NFL season is on. It's about to be on its third week as of tomorrow, um, as my New York football Giants play the 49ers, by the way, which I have the Giants upsetting. You know, I know that's a crazy bet and it's most likely not going to happen. But, you know, hey, go Giants. But that's besides the point. It's week three, people. Just keep that in mind, everybody. It is week three. You know what's not being talked about? People are always they're talking about the injuries that's happened. And people are talking about, you know, the Cardinals tanking, the Cowboys being 2-0. People are talking about how Justin Herbert's 0-2 and Joe Burrow's injury. Uh, people are talking about a lot of other things, right? Why is no one talking about who's going to win the MVP this year? Every, every year that I've watched football, <laughs> every year that I watch football, the MVP is always discussed within the first week. Even last year when Patrick Mahomes threw five touchdowns against the Cardinals, they were saying he's going to win MVP. They were saying Josh Allen's going to win MVP after he beat the Titans week one on Monday Night Football. Why is no one talking about the MVP this year in week three? You want to know why? It's because this is your MVP, Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons. You want to know who your MVP is? Nick Bosa for the San Francisco 49ers. You want to know who your MVP is? TJ Watt for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You want to know who your fourth entry is in for the MVP? Miles Garrett for the Cleveland Browns. Here's the problem, right? You can sit here, you can sit here and say they're not talking about the MVP because it's the third week. That's BS. That's BS, bro. The reason why they're not talking about MVP is because quarterbacks are not doing well these first few weeks. And I already said this once, and I said this, and I said this again. I believe all the elite quarterbacks, Mahomes, Burrow, well, no, I'm not, not Burrow anymore since he's injured. Uh, Mahomes, Lamar, Allen, Jalen, et cetera, they'll all get their feet, even quarterbacks like Dak Prescott, they'll all get their feet, they'll all get they'll all get their feet uh under them within the uh week three and week four, right? But here's the problem, though. No one's talking about the fact that Micah Parsons has been the best player in the NFL throughout this whole season. No one's talking about Nick Bosa has been one of the best players in the NFL throughout this whole season. No one's talking about TJ Watt just put on a performance of a lifetime on Monday Night Football and single-handedly won them that game. No one's talking about that. No one's talking about, hey, maybe these three defensive players could win the MVP. No one's talking about how my boy Miles Garrett is cooking, is absolutely cooking with the Cleveland Browns. And he was he was beating up Joe Burrow in week one. He was beating up Kenny Pickett in week two, to be honest with you. No one wants to talk about the fact that these defensive players deserve their credit. But they're not going to get their credit. You know why? Because the NFL doesn't want to promote defense. They're so scared of, quote, unquote, toxic masculinity talks from all of these communities. And you know what communities I'm talking about. They're so scared of concussions and CT, and they're trying to get away from being a violent. Well, guess what? The NFL is a violent sport. Can we give my boy Parsons, even though he's a cowboy, can we give Parsons his, his credit? Can we give Nick Bosa his credit? So what if he has a Confederate flag in his uh house? I mean, he's still a great defensive player. I'm just joking about joking about that, by the way. If you know anything about Nick Bosa and his tweets before he got into the NFL, you know you'll get the joke. Can we talk about how TJ Watt has put on a performance that was amazing? That was amazing Monday night. And we can we talk about how Miles Garrett has been cooking with the Browns and single handedly has been honestly carrying that Browns defense. 
But no, you know why the NFL won't talk about it? It's because their little sexy boy that they love, uh, uh, Justin Herbert. Because for some reason, I- I've never heard this. I've never heard this in my life. You have analysts out here saying Justin Herbert throws a sexy ball. Pause. Pause on both of those when I said uh, they're a little sexy boy and uh, throws a sexy ball. Who cares? He loses. He's 0-2. He's 0-2. They want to talk about, they wanted Justin Herbert to be the MVP so bad. This guy gets slurped like a maniac. Same thing with Joe Burrow. They're so upset Joe Burrow is injured right now, so they can't give him the MVP. They can't give him the MVP. I honestly firmly believe they want to avoid giving Patrick Mahomes the MVP because he's already won two within four years. They can't give it to Josh Allen anymore because Josh Allen's falling off a cliff. Trevor Lawrence, we'll see how that goes. I think they're still waiting to see what happens with Trevor Lawrence. They want to give it to Jalen Hurts. or They want to promote Jalen Hurts, but I think Jalen Hurts hasn't been playing well for them to be hyping them up. I mean, unless you're Brock Pretty or Tua, can you name me a quarterback that's looked good and has been winning? They don't want to give it to Tua because Tua is not one of their faces, and they're and they're scared that Tua is going to get injured being one of their faces. And they don't want to give it to Brock Purdy because let's be fair, Brock Purdy's not flashy. Brock Purdy's like five foot five and looks like a Walmart greeter. Can we? This is the biggest. This is the biggest thing of the NFL right now. Why is no one talking about the fact that these and that these uh defensive players have been carrying the league and been carrying their teams? Like, bro, Miles Garrett, now granted, Miles Garrett is never going to win an MVP. But at the same time, can we talk about the fact Miles Garrett has been the reason why these Cleveland Browns have been in their games? Listen, I love Deshaun Watson, but Deshaun Watson looks like he still needs a few games. Hopefully, hopefully, he still needs a few games to uh, get under his belt. Hopefully. Can we talk about the fact that TJ Watt, I TJ Watt is his career is being wasted because they have a bum. Kenny Pickett is a bum. A bum. TJ Watt is getting wasted trying to carry this defense and trying to carry the offense because TJ Watt scored more points than Kenny Pickett the last two games. Putting on defensive masterminds. No one's talking about that. He's not getting MVP talk. Can we talk about the fact that Nick Bosa is, is wrecking? He wrecked the Steelers and he wrecked the uh, Rams on last Sunday. And he's most likely going to wreck my Giants <laughs> this Thursday. No one's talking about that. And can we talk about the biggest travesty? I made a video saying uh, Parsons is the best defensive player. And no, he's the best player in the NFL. It's either between him or Mahomes. You could put both those guys in the hat. Whoever you pick is whoever you pick. This dude is such a defensive present. He is... He scares offensive coordinators. He scares offenses. Shoot, he might scare some defenses. Because some defenses are like, dang, the offense ain't going to do nothing. The offense ain't going to do nothing. This dude should be the top of the MVP racing. But no one's talking about the MVP. No one's talking about the MVP. You know why? Because Justin Herbert's not leading it. Justin Herbert can put up all the stats he wants. He's a loser. He's 0-2. About to be 0-3. Well, he might be 0-3. I don't know. I picked the Vikings, but still, Justin Herbert and the Chargers wouldn't shock me if they choked the Kirk Cousins. They want to give it to Burrow because Burrow made AFC Championship game. Well, guess what? Burrow's injured, and he's about to be 0-3. The Rams are about to beat him, too, if he's even playing. They gave up on Josh Allen last year when he lost to Joe Burrow. I mean, if Mahomes was putting up numbers, they probably have him as number one as the MVP. But at the same time, I believe they're trying to avoid giving Mahomes the MVP again because, you know, He's already won two in five years. And let's be fair, you could probably give Mahomes the MVP each and every single year. Le- Mahomes is kind of like the LeBron where you can give him the MVP every single year because he's going to have the numbers and the number one seed every single year. But at the same time, listen, I get it, NFL. You want to be offensive. You want to be like basketball and put up all these numbers. But at the same time, give these defensive players their credit. The league is getting... The league, this is what we want, defense. Not not all the time, but defensive players dominating. But that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? What's your thoughts on the NFL and what's your thoughts on my take? 
about the NFL and exposing the NFL in this video. RJ out. Thank you.